hi guys so welcome back if you're new to my channel i am shu and today today i decided to film using the natasha denona's bronze palette this is her midi size one um, this was released i believe two years ago or three might be three um i just decided to use it the other day and i've used this twice already and i am kind of noticing that whatever combo that i'm going for you sort of get a similar outcome because all these shades are like so similar to one another i'm not gonna go into details about each one of these shades because of this palette has been on the market for the longest time just yesterday i noticed that they are releasing the mini bronze version of this so this is from trend mood and basically the baby version of this don't know if i'm gonna pick it up maybe sometimes in the future if she have um some sort of sale but so this includes five shades four mattes and one metallic and there's a couple of uh, matte shades in here too yeah i don't i don't know if i need this i do really like the color scheme of the bronze palette uh, and the quality of this is amazing so anyways so in today's topic i want to talk about the 10 makeup products that i am deciding to not buy in the future i decided to again make a list and we're gonna go over that while i apply on um, these gorgeous bronze shades on my eyes today so let's bring you guys in closer making sure that i am focused to prime my eyes as usual in ignite so the first shade i'm going in with is uh, this shade called beach as my transition shade i already placed it on my left eye just to see how it looks like um so number one i am no longer buying large eyeshadow palettes i feel that even though i have a large eyeshadow palettes collection i tend to forget to or rather not um, wear eyeshadows when i am out and about so i don't see the point of having large size eyeshadow palettes in my makeup collection um the only three large eyeshadow palettes that i have in my collection are from pat mcgrath her holiday releases and the one from alter ego artemis palette and i guess these are the only three large palettes that i have in my collection that um contains more than 15 eyeshadows i am no longer buying any more huge eyeshadow palettes i honestly just prefer the mini eyeshadows palettes like something like this because i feel like it's you know it's less pressure to want to create an eye makeup look so um, it's much more simple more efficient i guess for me so number two i am no longer buying cream or stick blushes i feel like creamy type of blushes doesn't stay that long on my cheeks because i have oily to normal skin type you know i have combo skin and i tend to have oily t-zone along with my cheeks so cream blushes like this is by milk i got this as a sample from sephora and although the color is nice it's just it doesn't last long on my cheeks and also these nude sticks ones they're really popular on youtube but these just doesn't work on my cheeks it's um the lasting power of these cream products doesn't go well with my skin i do however like the cloud paints from glossier this is in 
shade Dusk. I really, really like this one. And also the Rare Beauty. Um, these are like her liquid blushes. This is in Love. I really, really like these type of um, cream. I guess this is like liquid blushes. These works better for my skin type. They last pretty nicely like throughout the day. So no cream blushes, just anything that's like liquidy and has more pigment. So today I want to play with this one, Bliss. This is like pinkish bronzy shade. Like literally no fallout. It's a nice color. It has like a two-toned kind of like with gold reflexes gold and bronze but pinky reddish shade so the third one on my list i'm no longer buying liquid lipsticks and i have some that i really like and i would repurchase but any type of drying liquid lipsticks i would not purchase i will not be buying kylie jenner's what is it kylie cosmetics liquid lipsticks her formulation is just terrible dose of color is not too bad but it still dries out my lips so anastasia ones are a little bit drying as well but a little bit more creamier than the kylie ones i do like the kevon d ones but because she's too controversial i don't want to support her brand anymore. I do really like her liquid lipstick in Lolita, I believe. No, actually, it's Bow and Arrow. This is a really nice um, nude shade. And I recently purchased the, well, last two years ago. Um, this is the Path McGrath Divine Nude. Still dries on my lips. And I guess this is the Givenchy one. This feels a little bit creamier, but still pretty drying. Um, my favorite one is probably the Bare Minerals one. This is their liquid lipstick in Icon. And my sister suggested this one to me. So if I have to repurchase one type of liquid lipstick, it will be the Bare Minerals brand. But other than that, I don't think I'll be buying any more liquid lipsticks in general because I feel like I need to apply on other sort of moisturizing lipsticks. Like today, I'm wearing the Anastasia one. And this shade is in Ashton with the Natasha Denona's moisturizing lipstick in I Need a Nude in Judith. So this is a combo that I have on and without the lipstick this liquid lipstick will be too drying on my lips and it would create more you know th those fine lines so I decided <laughs> I shouldn't be buying any more liquid lipsticks I like that there's an, an undertone of the red and then there's like a lot of nice gold like flexes on the top this, this is a really pretty shade so with this bronze palette, I feel like they're missing a lot of the creamy light beige colors. There's like too many mid-tone shades in here. I'm gonna go in with silk for my inner corners. And that seems to be like the lightest shade within this palette. I feel like this palette will work better if you have deeper skin tone. And then for my lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with this dark color here called Deep Dive. And that's pretty much it for my eye makeup look. So that's pretty much my eye makeup look using the, again, the Natasha Denona's bronze eyeshadow palette. It is pretty effortless to use and I feel like you can create such nice bronzy, it's almost like golden goddess sort of looks with this palette. And so far I like the outcome of my eye makeup look. 
every time I've used it. So I will recommend it if you guys are into very, very pretty bronze tone shades. These are just, wow, every single one of the shades that I have used on my eyes so far, I am loving it. So continue on with the list. Number four, I will not be buying combo palettes like for example I've had this so forever this is the Lorox Pro to go palette and this comes with eyes and kind of like a cheeks kind of combo palette so I have eyeshadows on the top and some blushers and I guess one bronzer this is good if you travel often but I feel like this palette the way that it's created is kind of too bulky for my liking like it's bulky i like the fact that you can fold it this but yeah any kind of combo palettes i will not be purchasing I think usually holiday palettes come out with like eyeshadows with blushers number five i am no longer buying glitter gels or loose pigments um, specifically glitter pots like this so i'm keeping this because of the packaging reason this was the hocus pocus collection that was released two years ago i think so this I haven't even used and I don't think this is even eye safe so yeah this is the glitter gel and I don't know if you guys don't know if you guys remember the MAC pigments so this I got during a holiday during the holiday season I believe this is the mini size MAC pigments comes with like shimmers mattes and basically loose pigments i haven't used these in forever however the type of glitters that i do like are by urban decay the heavy metal ones and the stillas like glitters like this i prefer because they are liquid base um they don't need any type of extra um, steps to use them you can just apply them onto your eyes they're pretty much eye safe so I prefer these over the loose glitters so number six I used to buy a lot of bright red or dark colored lipsticks um, the only two I believe these are the only two I might have a third or fourth one but um so I have a very bright orange lipstick from Patrick Toss. Um, she's not from here. This is the bright orange one. I should be using this because of the summertime right now. I don't wear enough bright colors or really dark lipsticks like this. This is from Pat McGrath. This is in, I believe, McMinami. So this is just too dark for my skin tone and too bright for my skin tone. So any bright or dark lipsticks, I, I don't think I'll be buying them because I am a neutral lipstick lover and I have enough nudes in my collection already. So I think I should put that on the list too, but specifically any bright or dark lip shades, I don't need to have that in my collection so number seven any type of shaping wax for the brows so i only have one of those this is the patrick toss shaping wax in clear so in order to use this product you just need to spritz um, a fix plus or um, a water to activate this um, thing but I've only used it like maybe three times and I just don't like the the way it feels on my brows it's just like really tacky and it leaves like white little flakes I don't know if I'm using it wrong 
but yeah i won't be buying any more waxy gimmicky stuff like this it's just it makes your brows look really neat and more i guess it appears like you have more brow hairs but i wouldn't suggest it and it's something i don't need to have in my makeup collection so number eight any type of liquid or loose highlighters so things like this i don't i thank god i only have two liquid highlighters um so this is from iconic illuminator this is really nice product however a little bit of it goes a long way i've had this forever and i feel like my powder highlighters gives me the same type of effect so yeah i just don't need to have this and i also have mesmerize from rare beauty and this is such a huge bottle and same thing a little bit goes a long way so i was gonna buy more of the liquid <laughs> highlighters but two is enough for my entire uh, makeup collection i don't need more than one to be honest and then i also have two loose highlighters i have one from kylie and one from this is artist couture and these gets really messy so you have to be careful when you use them because they can't go flying everywhere and it gets really messy using it but if you want extra highlighting effect i'm gonna apply on my nose now it just gives a very brightening effect so again i don't need more than one loose glitter or loose highlighter in my collection number nine are face primers i initially thought that face primers would help the longevity of my concealers and foundations but i feel like you actually don't need it it's just an extra step to your makeup routine so i feel like it doesn't really do anything for me for my skin type personally so face primers are kind of expensive too so i can just cut that step out of my routine no more buying face primers so the ones that i'm trying to use up i have a lot of face primers already by the way too primers like the mattifying oil free face primers like the smashbox one and the mac matte one i mean i've used it today i don't really notice the difference when i use the face primer versus when i don't use it before applying my foundation i think just my face moisturizer works the same and i don't recommend this one either the glossier priming moisturizer i try to use this time and time again during the winter time and this doesn't do anything for my skin so yeah no more face primers and the last item would be skin tints so anything that's like blurring skin tint like the fenty beauty one i have a review on this um skin tint and i guess if you have a really nice canvas already you can try this out because there's like literally no coverage um from skin tints like this one and the glossier the perfecting skin tint a lot of people swear by this and you can apply like a hundred layers of skin tints but if you have a lot of pigmentation to hide these does nothing for my skin and i have a lot of imperfections and dark spots so yeah this is just a waste of money i would not recommend it and for tinted moisturizers i feel like these work similar to skin tints um it's a very light coverage yeah this barely give any coverage too and i feel like for oily skin even though this says full oil free even though this claims that it's oil free it's just it just feels very heavy on the skin so i like that it has spf of 20 but 
this just doesn't work for maybe I got the wrong shade but it just doesn't work for me so I would not recommend skin tints or tinted moisturizers um, if you have oily combo skin yeah type like me so that's basically all of the makeup products that I'm not buying as of right now it might change in the future depending on how I am feeling but at the moment I am sticking to my list and yeah let me know in the comments down below any of the makeup products that you guys are skipping out either this year or if you're planning to skip out next year anyways I hope this video helps anyone out there to curve your spendings on unnecessary makeup items um, i'll see you guys next time bye